Sit Stuff here with Crafty Ladybug. This lesson is going to be on the mini bucket, pail, or flower pot. Just to show you some different uses, you could turn it into a popcorn bucket by doing a variegated um, red and white when we lay the bands on the loom. So here is a variegated popcorn bucket. The buckets also were very useful to make flower pots with, and you'll find this on my channel also. If it's not already on my channel, it will be very soon. The bucket is consisting of about 98 rubber bands. Don't hold me to the exact count, but it's around 98 rubber bands. Today I will be using the Rainbow Loom Caramel because I'm making uh, flower pots for to finish off the garden series that I'm working on. So I would like flower pots in each size, but you can use the bucket for whatever you wish. Our loom is going to have the center column removed and the little blue piece taken out of the bottom also. You want to take that off. You want your arrow pointing towards the left, your left, and the cup area will be going towards the right. I'm going to start off by telling you that we're going to need to do 12 bands around. So you just want to sort of pick pegs in the center and we're going to start to lay them. I always start up here at the top. And we're going to lay five across, one, two, three, four, five across. This is my number six coming down, number seven, eight, didn't want to stay on there, number nine, number ten, Number 11 and number 12. So we have 12 bands going around our loom. We want to, on number 12, we need to do one little thing. We need to pick up that number 12 band again, pick up the number 1 band with our hook, and we're going to put number 12 band under number 1 band and replace the number 1 band. Now we're ready to start to hook. We're going to loop counterclockwise to make the chain link area at the top of the loom. So reach into your peg number one where you started, wiggle out it and move it over to the left or down if you're viewing it the same way I am. Reach into that peg there, grabbing your band and mine just flew off but that's okay. I can just simply reach in, grab the band, and pull it up through and link it to its next peg. It is a little awkward for me to loop this way, so I'm actually going to pick up the loom and I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to grab and loop. Reach in, grab that bottom band, and loop. I want to make sure that they don't fall off the pegs. If they do, just replace them, push it down some. And we're going to go all the way around, grabbing that bottom band and looping to the peg where it had originally came from when you laid it. I'm going to reach in. I'm going to come across the horizontal. And now this one's going to be a little easier for us because it's, it's a straight loop. Just reach in and grab that center band, or the bottom band. I said center, I meant the bottom. There's only one band there. And when you get to the crazy triangle looking portion, you want to reach in, loop forward, and if you see a band pop off, you do want to place it back down on the loom. So just get that place back down on the loom. And then we're going to push everything down. You want to push all of these down on your loom. And now we need to do six rows, lay six more rows of bands. And if you follow along with any of my other bucket tutorials, I count how many rows by placing a single band down here on my loom just as a counter band. So I know I've done one layer. And we're going to be doing six. I'm going to do one on camera with you, 
and you'll have to do the other five off camera and come back to me for the end of this. So let's start our first row by laying at our starter peg. And we're just going to lay in the same direction that we originally laid the first ones. And it is just a single band all the way around the loom. I'm coming off to the left. And just continue to lay until you get back to your starting point. And now I've reached my starting point and now I'm ready to loop this. So I want you to pick your loom up and I need to turn it around to get to my starting peg. So here we have our starting peg. What you need to do is to take your hook and on the outside of that peg, don't dig into the peg like we're used to doing. On the outside of the peg, you take the bottom two bands and you loop over the peg. On your next peg, the bottom two bands and you loop over. Bottom two bands and loop over. You're going to do this all the way around the loom. And make sure that the bottom two bands are the ones that you're lifting up and taking over. Here on this peg, I'm just going to do the same thing. Reach in and loop over. I'm flipping to do my other side. Reach in and loop over. Bottom two bands. We're only getting the bottom two bands. And just continue to loop those over until you get to your last peg. And then you want to take and you want to push all of these down. And we're going to lay another row of bands. Here's my number two counter band because we need six rows total. So I'm just going to lay number two around. Same setup. lay those completely around. Oops. And once you get to the end, we're going to be turning our loom and looping the bottom two again. I'm going to do that step with you one more time and then you're going to have to finish this off camera. Hit the pause button and we'll do it off camera. So now I want you to pick up your loom. This is row number two and we need to flip it over. Bottom two bands, flip over. Bottom two bands, flip over. Bottom two bands and flip over. Bottom two bands and flip over. Bottom two bands and flip over. Bottom two, flip over. Bottom two, flip two and flip, two and flip, two, bottom two. I can't grab the bottom two. I keep getting one of the top ones. Bottom two and flip, bottom two and flip. I'm on my last one, bottom two, bottom two and flip over. Okay, so that is two rows complete. Push them down and start your third row. Row number three, line those all the way up around. Do your two bands and flip over and go all the way and make sure you have six rows done in order to make this flower pot here. We want a height of six. If you want your bucket taller, by all means do more, but for this particular bucket that I'm demoing today, it was six rows around. So I will meet you back in just a little while once we get our loom set up to the number six, and then we'll do the bottom of the bucket, which you will need help and assistance trying to figure that one out. So I'll see you guys back in just a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. We should have our six rows of bands done and looped on our loom. I know because I've got one, two, three, four, 
five and six bands here on my counter band. I want you to also separate out your two bands that you have left on your hook and make sure that you've got the bottom band pointing all the way down towards the bottom. That's a crucial step in the next process when we go to loop our product shut. So we want to just make sure that our bottom band is all the way at the bottom of your pegs on each side. So let's begin with making our center portion. It's kind of like a starburst pattern, but in order to start it, you want to take a single band and wrap it around your hook twice. You want to take two bands and pull those through. And then we want to match up our sides of our bands to form a little squishy kind of fisheye type of texture in there. If your band doesn't open up and it stays in a tight little circle, you need to re-get re and regroup and get the other bands on the opposite side. Um, but you want it open so it will stretch. And the reason for this, I'm about to show you. We're going to get our loom back and we are going to stretch these bands from our starting peg. Place that end on your starting peg and stretch these two all the way out over here to the opposite peg. It's a really long stretch and there's going to be a lot of tension on this band here. But when it shrinks up at the end, it's going to work perfectly. The next thing I want you to do is to take your hook and place it in the center opening of that band, put it through, pull it back out, and we're going to be looping through a single band and connecting it back on our hook. And if you couldn't figure it out, we're going to stretch it out across that opposite peg. We're going to do that again, reaching in and we're going to be stretching it out to the other corner. And this is filling in the bottom of our bucket and making it a one piece item. Loop in, reach through the center, grab, and we're just going to fill up each of the other posts that are available. And you can work in any fashion that you want. You just need to make sure that you're reaching in from the top of the center looping up your band to connect it and placing it on the peg and we're going to do this last one on this side there you go and we also need to do these pegs over here we're going to do the same thing reach into the center Pull out our band, and I'm really sorry, I find it very difficult to do it that way on camera, so I have got to turn my loom. So I do apologize, I just have to turn my loom. Here we go. Reach in and fill that peg. Reach in, grab the band, reclaim, fill that peg. Reach in, reclaim, and fill that peg. And that one fell off on me, so I need to just do that again. Reach in, reclaim, and fill that peg. Reach in, reclaim, and fill that peg. So, here we have got a close-up shot of what it looks like. We've now got a big eye opening here in the center and kind of a radiating bands going out to each of the other pegs. So we need to turn our loom to our starting point, which my starting point is here because my arrows are pointing now towards my body. If it were my starting point, also it would be there because here the arrow is pointing towards the left. And I know too because I put my counter bands in the same spot every time. So I'm going to go back to my starting point and I'm going to reach in. You want to reach inside the peg this time. And you want to get that band that's on the very bottom. You want to wiggle it out 
and you're going to move it over to the left. On this left peg, we're reaching in, grabbing the band on the bottom, wiggle it out, and come down. Reach into that peg, band on the bottom, wiggle it out, and come down. Reach in, band on the bottom, wiggle it out, and come down. Reach in, band on the bottom, wiggle it out, and come down. Reach in, band on the bottom, wiggle it out, and come down. Now we're going to reach in, wiggle out the bottom band, and come across. Going to reach in, wiggle out the bottom band, and come up. Reach in, wiggle out the bottom band, and come up. Reach in, wiggle out the bottom band, and come up. Reach in, grabbing that bottom band, wiggle it out, and come up. Reach in, wiggle out the bottom band, and come up. Okay, the next step is we have to separate out these guys again. And we want to grab on our first peg. We want to separate out and make sure that the bottom band's on the bottom. And we also want to do that on our second peg over here. Just grab the band that is on the bottom. Make sure that you can see it. So here's my bottom peg, bottom band on that peg, and it's going to be a little tricky for some. We need to reach into our starting peg, grab that bottom band, wiggle it out, and you're going to push it back on your hook. And I want you to reach into this peg over here on the left, grabbing that bottom band, and wiggle it out also, and it goes on your hook. We're going to slip knot this together by pulling a single band through those two. One and two. And we're going to slip knot that off. And that is what secures our whole creation together. So if you didn't grab the bottom bands at any part in here, you are taking the chance that your product is going to fall apart on you. So you wanna make sure that the bands you grab the bottom bands on the, on the correct pegs. So if you say it doesn't work, it's because you grabbed the wrong band. Always make sure that you're getting the bottom band. Now that we have that together, I always use the back of my hook to take it off. And we have a little bit of fluffing that we still need to do to it. Not every product comes off looking perfect. This one looks kind of blah, just sitting here like this. But we just need to take and put our fingers in the top, give it a little stretch out, and rotate it around. And here we have got our bucket with our closed bottom. And our little um, securing band is poking out there. So you just want to reach in through the top, grab that securing band, and pull it back down in. And hide that. I didn't grab it right that time. So just reach in, hide your securing band up in the bucket or flower pot in my case today. And here we have got our large size flower pot to go along with our popcorn caramel theme or our garden theme, popcorn theme, garden theme. Just the bucket in general, which looks way bigger, taller, than my other bucket. And I'm going to explain to you why. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. I did make a little blooper with this guy. I fibbed to you earlier when I said that I um, only did six layers. I recounted off camera and I actually did seven layers when I loomed this product up. So I lost count of how many layers I had done. And your bucket should be similar looking to this. It's not going to be as tall, but mine's taller because it does have an extra layer of bands in it. 
and that's okay because I can still use it for what I want and I don't have to unwind it or fix it or anything like that. If you miscounted, I want you to know that it is really not a big deal. It doesn't change that much of the bucket. It does just change the height by one row. So my apologies, my blooper, I'm not perfect. And I hope you guys will continue to watch my videos. Thanks.